Want to know where to get the best possible cheap, reliable coins at your fingertips? Perfect. New card. What do you think? Woohoo. Very nice. Look at that. Look no further than MMOEXP. Link is down below. Top of description. Use code META for 5% off. Now, I know a lot of SPCs can be a lot of coins, man. Do check out MOXP to acquire some of these cards. But today, I have kind of alternatives to the SPCs. You know, they are expensive as hell. I mean, we got the likes of Ginola. I don't know how much he is, actually. We can go check on the current market right now. Um, you know, a lot of people do deem Ginola as probably the most meta card in the game. Uh, obviously, bar like R9. Um, you know the likes of um, all those cards ham etc he's got five star five star six foot one is he worth all that coins he's 2.8 million coins right now on the current um spc list right there and that is a lot bro i'm not gonna lie putting so much coins and effort you know it's kind of like i think mbappe was a little bit more expensive but essentially this card is similar to that price range and in my opinion man there's just so much better value cards out there and today as I said, is why I'm going to literally list the best ones um, for the price, man. Bang for buck, as well as just better alternatives. Like, we've got the likes of Ginola. Now, for me personally, I feel like the best card currently for the value and alternatively to Ginola is definitely this card right now in SPCs currently and can still get upgraded. I'm not too sure how much um, wins they're on, etc, etc. But if you look at this card, I don't know how to say his name fully, but his name is Furich, Furik, something like that. Nonetheless, as you can see, he's got five star skills. Obviously, doesn't have the five star, five star like Ginola. But oh my days, man, in terms of value, I think this card is currently, if I look on the side, he's currently going for 107,000 coins. That is literally a 100k card that can still get upgraded. Five star skills still. So we'll still do the skills, um, you know, aspect. And he has amazing finishing, very nice dribbling aspects, as well as stamina. I mean, for 100k right there, compared to the 2.8 mil. Do you know what I mean? You can save your coins, get the likes of this card. Obviously, dependent on how far um, Stuttgart goes. And yeah, definitely check out the um, what is it? The list of teams and how far they're getting. Because uh, there's always like, I think on Twitter as well, you can check out. There's always um, like journeys. Do you know what I mean? Um, not journeys. What am I saying? I'm trying to say something. There's always like, um, yeah, like basically the journey of how far the card gets upgraded and how far they are now if that makes sense hopefully i'm not mambling on right there we got the likes of the striker though and he's gonna be eusebio now everybody done eusebio let's be honest right there's spc i think i versus eusebio probably majority like i'd say at least 10 times out of 20 in a weekend league i versus eusebio bro he is probably one of the best cards that ef released i'm not gonna lie even in terms of value now if you look at his values 2.4 mil currently on the spc list i think he's still available if i'm not mistaken if he's not though there is a new and improved card. In my personal opinion, I feel like he's going to be a beast right there, man. And still is a beast right there in my team. I used him in Weekend League and I absolutely enjoyed him, bro. I'm not going to lie. In terms of pace, raw power, precision, his shooting was amazing. It is going to be, if we can find him. Have we skipped him? There's, there he is right there. Timo Werner. Now, I know a lot of people have actually really enjoyed him. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, there's a few... Um, I think Tottenham scored three or four goals out of 11. Like there's a few hints saying that he's going to probably get the full upgrade, which basically means he's going to get at least 292 rated or 93 rated, which is insane. Like making this team of 193, I mean, it's a no brainer, bro. Literally currently going for, if we search on the transfer, uh, sorry, on the SPC list, he's currently going for 515,000 coins. Now compare that to like a three more card. He still has the 5-star weak foot, like, obviously, Eusebio. He has power shot, which can come in handy sometimes. Obviously, doesn't turn like Eusebio and stuff, but in terms of a striker, he's probably the best valued, in my personal opinion, bro. If you add something that boosts his overall, like, um, dribbling, obviously, he's a little bit taller, but I feel like he's in that sweet spot of strikers with when it comes to his lankiness. Do you know what I mean? Um, you need a little bit of lankiness, especially for a striker to shrug off the defenders and have that little bit of physical, if that makes sense. And I like his ball control. He's uh, obviously composure. I'm sorry, dribbling. His composure can get upped, obviously, with the uh, depending on Tottenham. And I do think they are going to actually get him to 93, bro, which is insane. But I think a lot of people are currently adding a finish on him because a finisher gets him on to mostly explosive. I mean, you got a car that has basically over 90 pace split with mostly explosive. What more do you need, bro? 99 dribbling as well with the 
um, obviously finisher chem style as you can see right here he goes to a 94 rated striker and that's not even worth the um the upgrades bro do you know what i mean so essentially verna in my opinion is much better value than eusebio and can still get upgraded a lot of people are gonna do that verna i can already see it we got the right wing though four attackers now obviously a lot of people did george best most people liked him i'm not gonna lie i hate versing this best he is insane bro every time i play him solid solid card right there obviously i have alternatives but sometimes the alternatives don't really mean necessarily the better card but we do have the main man julie i didn't actually find anyone better in terms of like value but i do like this card in game he is insane when it comes to just overall raw pace um you know you want someone that's very fast very nimble on the wings and in my opinion he provides all that bro literally like so small kind of like your woman in the game um you know your hansons your likes of those type of cards and in my opinion he currently has obviously i didn't play that much games with him but i mean that's already all goal contributions in almost 16 games you know what i mean so yeah overall i mean this card was like a hundred thousand coins and can still get upgraded ladies and gentlemen dependent on how as monaco is playing obviously do check the journey for that um in terms of the team uh, if they obviously win the next two games out of four he gets plus one or if they score 11 goals in the next four games he gets a plus one as well now that'll make him to 92 i mean 400k bro and his stats are already looking like that what more do you need man honestly speaking we're gonna move over to the midfielders now for me midfielders is the most important because they're the heart of the team i mean i say it every time but essentially everybody knows the likes of Sawa is great. Come on, bro. Like A plus or S tier. I mean, everybody defends this card. They love this card so much. Personally speaking, though, I do Versa. Yes, she's insane. In terms of just like transitionally uh, attacking her defending. She does everything, bro. And she's like that pest. Someone that like you get away from, right? And then she's just there right the second you got away from her. Do you get what I'm saying? So she's just always there in the right times at the right spot. I think she's like a Kante. Um, you know in older times and essentially she's a beast there is a better card oh well not better but in my opinion i do think he's better that's just my opinion i feel like this card is such a beast in this game and you can actually get him for cheaper bro i think like four five hundred k cheaper and then he's the main man shavi ladies and gentlemen if you look at this type of card bro you are just gonna have fun it's gonna be meta as well this type of card is just phenomenal ea have actually done him justice right there this should be his normal base version bro shavi was a beast in his time he's got a five star weak foot high high five foot seven so small enough to nimble he's got explosive running type so he's gonna be very fast when it comes to just going forward and getting back i mean getting back is not essentially the greatest thing so the cards are, do differ in terms of like defending but i mean you're gonna use Sawa as a box box i feel like shavi is the better box box bro straight up so essentially if you want to try and like get a box box don't go for sour get the likes of shavi but if you want to get more of a defensive smaller player i feel like it's a little bit redundant getting a defensive small player though do you get what i'm saying like you want to get at least a big boy like a viera uh the likes of you know those type of cards that have kind of body type of stocky and just essentially very physical so essentially this type of uh cm is just more meta in my opinion someone that can turn faster and he's got the five star weak foot bro and he has amazing play styles bro like if you look at that play styles look at that bro technical plus for a cm i mean the way he runs uh when it comes to rb dribbling as well as obviously r1 on playstation just a beast bro like the the passing is just oh it's it's beautiful bro that's all i can say man i have played with him before and i have versed him and i must say oh my days how much is he actually going for now i mean on the market he's currently going for 795k i do think more people would shine light on this card if it was spc bro personally speaking but we'll move over to the next one it is right card a lot of people use him as a center back a lot of people use him as a cm personally speaking more center back than cm but as a cm there's a much better option and it is going to be this girl right here I don't know how you fully pronounce her name. Is it Marjorie or Ma Mari? Something like that. She is a beast, bro. All I can say is she's already got one up right there. Now, she is not really a, how can I say, someone that is a ball winner, uh, essentially. But 5'5", five 5'6", five, five skills, medium and high. So, she is a defensive-minded player. She's got 4-star weak foot. So, that's already a major, major like beast card five star skills someone that can do a ball roll scoop while you've obviously intercepted the ball is just amazing in my opinion bro eight play style she can get cam and left wing she can play literally everything bro and she comes with a price of under 200k bro she's actually going up in price she's 164,000 coins 
Ladies and gentlemen, and can still get upgraded. What more do I need to say, bro? What more do I need to say? Obviously, dependent on how well the um, Olympic Lyon women's team does, uh, do, she is going to get upgraded. Personally speaking, this could even be an investment for someone. Because if I, I know how good Olympic Lyon as a women's team is, so I can just only imagine this card might just get upgraded like fully, bro. Do you know what I mean? So essentially, this card could get like 91, 92. And with the five star skills with that stats, oh my days, bro. I don't even know why I don't why I didn't get her. I don't know. I don't think I have coins, but yeah. <laughs> We're gonna move over to the very last one. Now we've got Kessler right there, which is a very nice card when it comes to box-to-box -box qualities. You could argue actually, why would I add Kessler? Personally speaking, I shouldn't have added her. That's my bad. I should have added this beast right here because he is a much better, obviously, a lot of people done him. A more inclusive, I'd say more relevant card. And Essentially, in my opinion, there's a better card right now that I struggle against. In terms of a cam, though. Like, a lot of people use Fernandez as a box-to-box -box CM. Can use him as cam as well. But this card right here... I mean, fair enough, yeah. I did not know this. I did not know you had it in your bag, bro. This card is a beast. Cloud Jopina. If you did her, you would know exactly how good she is. Only downfall is her stamina, but it doesn't even really matter in-game. She just feels amazing, bro. When it comes to passing, like the precision of passes, as well as the way she dribbles, very nimble, very, very small, I might add, but she is a beast. Th that's the meta, man. Someone that can, like, you know, transition like a snake, going past your defense, and, yeah, mostly explosive, bro. What more do you need? She doesn't have to get upgraded because she's not a fat fantasy, but in my opinion, man, for the price of... She's not available anymore. So cheers, Jeff, moment, but 180,000 coins she was available for. And compared to, obviously, your 8, 900k for Fernandez, that is much better value and a better alternative, in my opinion. We're going to move over to the defenders. And this will be, personally speaking, very, um, very, uh, I, th I think, how can I explain? Now, a lot of people done these defenders and they know they're great, they matter, etc. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. You've got your bag. GG's, bro. They are better... Not better alternatives, but they are alternatives in general. I think this one is probably the more redundant one because these cards are just so great. I feel like for the center backs, not really, but full backs, a lot of people like Davies and Cafu. Um, this kind of var is a little bit small. You could argue maybe the new card that came out, but I think he's actually going to be included in the alternatives and it is going to be the main man, Ricardo Cavallo. Now, I reviewed him yesterday and I must say, can still get upgraded. Would you say he's a little bit expensive? He's like 600k. I'm going to be completely honest. He is a much better card than the likes of even Maldini, bro. Because of his um, Anticipate Plus. He's got Anticipate Plus and Aerial Plus. Now, this Aerial Plus is very, very um, underrated. Why I say this is because let's say someone crosses in the box. His Aerial Plus gets um, like connected. And then he just headers the ball away. In my opinion, it is so OP. A lot of people don't really know how OP it is unless they used it. And in my opinion, in terms of defending, it literally has almost everything. I feel like they should have just added the base playstyle of Intercept. It would have been amazing. But low and high makes him amazing center back. Can still get upgraded dependent on Chelsea. Can get to 92. So we'll have amazing pace split. What that anticipate plus? Personally speaking, that is a beast card. Like over Maldini, I'd say GG's, man. Yeah, we got the very next one, though. It is going to be a personal favorite of mine. Um, Love-hate relationship because I love using him and I hate versing him, uh, versing him. But yeah, what a card, man. In terms of over, maybe Cannavaro is a better option right there. I'd say Canate. Now, this card on the market is currently probably more expensive now. Um, let's just see. If we can find that, why can't we find it? There we go. Yeah, he's gone up in price. He used to be 300,000 coins. Now he's about 400k. Literally like the same enough price as Cannavaro, I think. And he's just a beast, bro. Like, as a center back, that pay split. And he has that holy grail of height. Literally similar to Van Dyke. So, six foot four just makes for like a shrugging, like a more physical dominant type of center back and he has all that qualities and still has decent enough agility and balance for center back to at least not be too heavy to turn he has amazing short and long passing what more do you need bro can still get the option to upgrade bro if this card gets to 90 or 91 it's ggs bro it's wraps he will be definitely going down as the most irritating center back in the game alongside van dyke but we're not going to speak too much about him. Let's move over to the fullbacks. And I think you have probably know exactly who I'm going for, right, Chad? He's the main man, Who Doggy. 
I use his 88 and I love him. I can only imagine the 90. I don't want to spend the 75k. I don't know. I'm hard-headed. Overall, though, I do think this 88 is just a beast in general. So I can only imagine the 90. It ups his defending. I like the way this man transitions. Personally, a very nice card for 100,000 coins over Davies. Now, as I said, Davies, GG's if you have him. Yeah, he's like 7, 800k. Of course, he's going to be the greatest. But I mean, there's, there's some nice alternatives as well. We got the very last one for the right back. It is going to be... Actually... I wanted to include Scott as the better alternative to Kafu, but I've got another man right here. If I can just remember his name. I think... Is that how you say it? C-A-U? Nah, I've got him in my, in my list right there because I packed him and I've used him. And I must say, I utterly enjoy him, bro. It is the main man, Kuwoto. Now, obviously, Kafu is very expensive. I think... Is he still available in SPCs? He currently is. He's 555k, which is actually decent value for a right back, especially of his caliber. But you got the likes of 100k Kuwoto. Now, you need someone that is very fast. Someone that can also play offensively. He's 5'6", 4-star, 4-star. Already has that offensive thing out the way. Um, he has not the best defending, but you can get him to upgrade. Bro, I love these fantasy cards because it's not the only... Um, like stats, they can still get upgraded, you know what I mean? He's amazing stamina, 80 finishing as well. Very nice dribbling. For me, that's a thumbs up, bro. I mean, for 150,000 coins, I think he's probably going to go up in price, bro. I'm not going to lie. This card po potentially could get upgraded to a 91, 92. So I can only imagine him, his price going up, man. We're going to move over to the very last one. It is going to be the goalkeepers. And I don't really shine my light on goalkeepers because, yeah, all goalkeepers are trash, I always like to say. And essentially, man, like... Obviously, everyone knows Czech is great, like a Van der Sar. Would you spend that extra cash? Would it actually make a difference is the main question. I don't know, bro. I feel like Czech overall for 700k. I mean, if you have a beast team and you want to like make it look nice, by all means, do what you need to do. But in my opinion, there is a better card that is just better value, man. Like, everybody knows he's great. Come on, bro. Addison. Just the standard meta Donny right there, Allison. I think even his... How much is his... Is his team of the year because if his team of the year is cheaper than check um where do we go here let me check quickly no pun intended <laughs> no i'm joking okay wait we're gonna go is he not available he is okay so he's 900k fair enough right there man i'd say the most relevant one is probably gonna be allison gold to get pen you don't want to spend that much coins on a goalkeeper that you know could even make more uh, mistakes just how this game is man sometimes but yeah for me allison even informed to stegen is amazing value right there because of his just reflexes the one-on-ones you know it helps a lot especially the play styles the base play styles they don't obviously have the plus play styles but yeah that is the video ladies and gentlemen tell me who's your favorite like alternative card to these certain positions but i will catch you boys in the very next one man peace hey.